Hey guys, today I have a Nuna Pippa capsule, car seat, whatever you want to call it. In Australia, we call it a capsule. Um, some people in Australia even call it a car seat because they're not familiar, but it is a seat that the baby travels in the car with. So whatever you want to call it. Um, I want to show you how to wash it today. This one is pretty grubby, like really grubby. <laughs> I've just had a better look at it and literally milk has just gone right through this thing. It's quite awful. Um, if that wasn't bad, I then took it off the base. Right, how do I do that? This one. And all in the base also has all of the milk in all of this part in here. But the worst thing was the bottom of this there is milk in here and here and here oh throw up whatever this is vomit throw up milk i don't know it's from a baby under 12 months of age so i'm thinking it's milk or throw up or throw up milk that is the right way okay so <laughs> this is going to need a really good clean I'm just gonna jump right into it. I didn't realize how gross it was. Honestly, I thought this was just gonna be like a quick chuck it in the washing machine and it'd be done, but it needs a complete clean down. First, I'm going to remove the hood then and bring this all the way down. Oops. And around. Oh, it came off one side. There we go. So I kind of just use something to force it down. I don't want to be poking at the end because it will break it, but if I go all the way through and then just pull on it with a blunt um, item, then it will be okay. That growling sound are my two dogs playing, if you can hear that. Do you guys have to play that right now? I need to push that down and pull this up to get it out. There's Velcro at the back. I'm actually going to remove the base. Let's remove the other side. It should be a little easier to do this time because the other half has already been removed. Oh my gosh, it just doesn't want to make it easy for us. So, pull the way through and pull it down. No. Okay. I'm going to take the hood rod out and the Velcro on the back. So that's our hood off and ready to be washed. One more thing that I wanna do is unzip this little zip here, which will release the little mesh that's in here. And that way it can all get a good wash. Now we wanna get this main cover off. Um, we'll start, I guess, just here. There's a little clip, so we wanna get that clip. Keep following it around. There will be another white clip on this side. If you pull it up, the crotch strap, if it is buckled, unbuckle it and just pull the crotch strap through. Ew, this is really gross. <laughs> We're going to get up to these buttons and they have to come through as well. So, oh, there we go. So, what did I do? I pushed it, I pulled it forward. Let me try. All the way forward and on the angle. Oh my god, that's so easy. And then like up. Alright, looks like we have another elastic or something here. Oh no, it is a plastic piece. So, the other plastic piece on this side. And then at the back, another plastic piece. The only thing holding this capsule in right now is the harness. So we want to turn it upside down and undo this piece. So you just put two fingers and slide the piece. Now we're going to pull straps all the way through and one more time through the bottom if you can hear tapping on the glass that would be my lovely dogs 
They're running around making a noise, so I put them outside, now they want to come in. These will come through, it's just an angle game. I don't know why they were made like that. I feel like the holes should be slightly bigger, but they do make it through, like I said. I just need to get the right angle. Okay. That is so gross, oh my gosh. I think the guy that sold it to me said it could use with a wash. It could use a wash. It needs a wash. <laughs> Ew. Alright, I'm going to go chuck this in the wash right now on a gentle cycle, on a hand wash cycle with cold water, um, just that and the hood, nothing else. Because it needs it. And lots of soap. Before I put it in the wash, I'm going to take it outside and I'm going to turn it in. I don't want to do this right here. All right, table, you're going to take one for the team. So with my hand, I want to push up, forward, whatever, and we want to turn this in the wrong way. <laughs> I'm just going to have to vacuum up with this. And now I'm going to get a little brush and get all the crummy bits that are in there. Can you see some of them falling? Because I can. All right, I'll be going to brush. Okay, I have my trusty brush now, and we're going to want to just, let me show you close up. It gets even better when you're close up. <laughs> so I just want to get my brush, and I really don't want this to go everywhere. Just scrub out all the edges with all the crumbs. If you don't have a brush like I'm using, this is like a grout cleaning brush for the shower. You could use a toothbrush, or you could use a bigger brush. You could even maybe use a dustpan brush. Again, that is my dogs growling because they hate me and they don't want me to film. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I just they just really want to play. Ew. All right. So the more of this that you get off the easier it's going to wash because all of this is not going to be in the washing machine. Do you get what I'm saying? So now we have this base. We can see how absolutely filthy it is. Okay, these are not going to want to budge. But I really want them to because they are so gross in there. Come on, buddy. Okay, I got it out. Ugh, it's so gross. So, 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 so gross. Yeah, this was mainly unstuck. Easily replace it. Like, I can pull the glue off and just re-glue it back on. But anyway, so that is out. I'm going to just, like, wipe that all down. And then I'm going to take a hose to this and let it soak. Because it's honestly that grubby. I'm just going to scrub away and keep cleaning at it. You can see, well, I don't know if you can, but there are some bits still in here. I might try at um, have another go with the hose in there, but then I'm going to um, get the brush and just scrub the bits. And I'm just using hot water, that's all. It is quite hot water, but it's just hot water that I'm using on it.
Okay, so I washed it in the washing machine and got it out and I did not scrub it beforehand, which I really should have. I did spray it with like the Dyson spray. It just didn't do anything. You can see like there, all the marks are still on it. So what I've done is I've got some Dyson, which is like nappy sand and my brush and I've made it into a paste. And okay, it was a little bit better than that. Anyways, and now I'm scrubbing it on here nice and lightly, but just getting to like that first layer. So hopefully this does the trick. I'll let it soak for a little while and then go from there. I don't know what I'm going to do if it doesn't come out. <laughs> but yeah, we need some more water. It's a bit dry now. So give it a good old scrub, see how it goes. All right, so after scrubbing the heck out of this and I left it overnight to sit in here with some of the dye sand I put a little bit more in, some, um, some of that. I sprayed some of that on. I put some more of that in. Um, and I put clove oil and eucalyptus, um, like a lid or two of that in there. I can smell that. <laughs> Um, and then it, I turned the washing machine on this morning. Oh, do we still have marks? I can't see. I think we might have got it. <laughs> There's still, it's going to need another rinse. I might put it in for one more rinse cycle, um, to get all the stuff off it. Alright, so I'm just going to put it in there with soap. Hopefully, all of that come off. I might let the hood come out. <laughs> mm. Ah, the hood needs a wash. <laughs> it's got all the, um, too much powder, obviously, I put in there. Alright, one more wash, <laughs> and we'll go from there. Alright. I think we got it. It looks pretty clean. There's still some, um, washing... I don't know what that is actually. It might not even be a washing detergent. It just could be like something from like the tags or something. Anyways, it looks pretty good. Same with this one. Yeah, it could just be like, yeah, it's like fluff. It's not powder. All right, I'll let it dry and then I'll just dust those bits off. It could easily be like this, this like stuffing and dust because that could easily come out. All right, we don't have any sun at the moment, so shade it is. I hate our clothesline. Who puts a clothesline here? There is no sun getting here. <laughs> Alright guys, it is the next day, um, well the next night really. I washed this the best I could. There's still a few marks, I'm a little disappointed. Um, this is probably the biggest mark here. I think a lot of like, there's like a few white marks on it. That could definitely be just like the residue from all of the um, like the product that I used on it so I have taken a baby wipe and wiped it down a lot of it got like stuck you can kind of see some in there in here but again I think it's like this back piece of like foam and stuff if that makes any sense um yeah so it came up okay not brilliant if I had have known what this was going to be when I bought it, I would not have bought it. Like, it was in filthy condition. It had written on the ad, excellent condition. <laughs> um, and then when I got there, he's like, oh, it just needs like a bit of a wash. What I don't think he understood is like when you took off the cover, how much stuff was under the cover and in all the straps and everything. It was honestly really gross. <laughs> but anyways, I've done it now. It has turned out half decently compared to like, I thought it was going to completely come out um, and then once I did that first wash I was like mm, maybe it's not going to come out so I feel like it come out better than what it was going to. I'm still annoyed that he didn't list good photos but whatever it's done now. I'm going to just put it back together on, um, on time lapse. Basically the only thing you need to remember is to thread all of the straps through making sure that they are not twisted that's really important never put 
um, car seat straps twisted. That is just not a good start. And um, what else do you need to remember? There's like these weird little clips at the back and this weird clip on the side. Other than that, it just pulls over. So I'm gonna just time that piece. So I put all of the cover on. Uh, don't forget to lift these up down here. Um, put these little buttons through here. They have the clips on the side and then three weird little plasticky pieces at the back. And that's about um, the whole thing. Um, also don't forget to bring the um, fabric right over here and thread this through the hole. Comes out here. I'm gonna help you um, up close show you my way on how I do the straps to make sure that they are not um, twisted so first of all if I just check this one from the back to here I can see that it is just hanging out and with my fingers I can feel that it is straight then what I'm going to do is slide this little clip down and I'm going to actually buckle it in now that I can see that, let me get this one out of the way, this piece here is flat, I can just, from buckling it in, I can just um, see that it kind of wants to fold upwards like that, and that is the correct place. Now we're going to choose which slot to put it in. I'm going to choose, I think, the middle slot. We're going to thread it through, and it'll come out the back, and we know it's straight and flat do the same with the other one so we want to check I'm just going to do it without showing you because I can feel that it's straight slide this down and into position to buckle buckle it in buckling it in keeps it in place it can't move any further then I want to make sure that I get the same one and line it up and go all the way out. All right, we wanna make sure these stay in here, so I'm gonna grab them with my hands at the back. This is what we will see when we turn it over. We don't want these straps going over the top of this bar, we want them to go underneath that bar that bar helps it lock into the base. So if you have the straps going over the top, it's going to interfere with locking it into the base. Therefore, won't be good if there is an accident or anything like that. Now we're gonna grab, it's hard to see, this piece here. And it's just hanging out down here. So we're gonna pick that one up and same thing, we're gonna thread it underneath the bar. Make sure it's straight, make sure these ones are straight. I'm just going to hold all of this together right now and just for my last sake I'm going to check that the front is all straight. Yep, it's still all straight. Then I'm going to turn it over and just slide this one in here and slide this one in here. Come on. <laughs> Alright, that's it. It's all together. If you're not sure how this works, this is actually the little part that you pull on at the front, which makes your straps go uh, looser or tighter either way. So that's actually how that works there. So just with these, because we pulled them out to clean them, I want to line one side up, like put it in, and then I'm just going to tap the other side with a blunt object, I don't want to like break it. This is not a blunt object on this end, I understand. Oh, I can't show you this end, but I just kind of tapped it in. Why is this one not going in? The other one just like popped straight in. Maybe I'll go this way and it will go in. Come on, little seatbelt. How did the other one go in so easily? And this one doesn't want to. <laughs> Always the way.
There we go. All right, that is how we put our bare bones uh, capsule or car seat back together. If you wanted to have the insert or a head support or whatever that came with the capsule um, before you did all the straps, that would be when you do it. You can still um, undo the straps without taking these pieces out. That's totally fine. You just need to undo this, um, these two straps and unthread them put the head support or body support or whatever it is in and then thread them back through with the same method that I used and then pop them back onto this piece. They have to be attached to this piece to work and be safe otherwise they won't tighten. <laughs> I'll just check that it's all working so to tighten it what we will do is just pull this strap here and you'll see that it tightens the harness through. So that is as tight as it's going to go. Just remember there's nothing in there. <laughs> so that is quite tight. To loosen it, press it down. Sorry, press it at the front, not at the back. Press it down and then you can pull these ones and it will loosen it. Push at the front and you'll see this one goes in. All right, so the last thing to do is put the hood on. Okay, so the Velcro dots at the back and we want to line up these um, little holes. Yep, that one clipped in. This one is going to click in, yep. And then we need to put these little loops back on. The hardest loops ever to get off, put them back on. <laughs> on both sides. Oh my gosh, this is not gonna go on. Wow. Does it need to go on? <laughs> Who built this and why is it so darn tight? I don't know why that's so tight, but anyways, I put it back on with my trusty stick. And then this special little part that was hidden in here before pulls all the way over the top. And then there's special little magnety bits. Just note when you're pulling this over for the first time, it might be a little bit um, stuck. So you will need to pull it right over to make sure it can come out. I really do like that. <laughs> I feel like this was worth it, but oh my gosh, it was an effort and a half, honestly. Alright, I need some new capsule covers, so I'm going to test one on there. It also sits really well with this mesh. Alright, that is how you clean a Nuna Pippa car capsule or car seat. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was more fun for you to watch than for me to do to scrub all of that out. <laughs> also, just the base came up fine. It just had a, a rinse with hot water and then I put it outside. I uh, towel dried it, sorry, left it inside for the night and then when there was sun the next day, I put it out in the sun just to make sure I tipped it both ways to let any water drain out of there if necessary. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see other videos like this, I do a bunch of pram cleaning videos. I do a bunch of pram reviews. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.